voice of one crying in the wilderness. Thus is the introduction of John the Baptist in the Gospel of St. Mark, a clear reference to the divine mission of John. His birth to Zechariah and Elizabeth, an elderly couple, was announced by the angel Gabriel, who said that the child would be a joy and delight and would make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And that is what John set out to do. Dressed in a garment of hair and with a leather belt around his waist, John was the very embodiment of an Old Testament prophet. He led a tough existence, living on a diet of locusts and wild honey. And his preaching was fiery, once again just like the prophets of old. It was this uncompromising manner that saw him openly condemning King Herod for divorcing his first wife and marrying Herodias, the wife of his half-brother. This was forbidden according to Jewish law and tradition. John was absolutely right, of course, but this public denouncement makes him a threat to Herod's rule and authority. Herodias also becomes an enemy who would prove to be far more dangerous than her husband. While urging Herod to arrest the desert prophet, she plots for his death. For this, she counts on Herod's lust while enlisting the help of her own daughter to bring the scheme to its final and lethal conclusion. Meanwhile, John's ministry reaches its high point when his cousin, the Lord Jesus, comes to the banks of the River Jordan to be baptized by him. It is all at once a dramatic, poignant and enlightening moment, for Jesus' sovereignty is confirmed by heaven. For Herod's birthday, a feast is held with all the top officials of the country in attendance. The celebration's main attraction is a dance by Salome, Herodias' daughter. She enthralls everyone, especially Herod. He is so taken up with her and her dance that he promises her anything as a reward. As Salome runs to ask her mother what she should ask for, Herodias' trap is sprung. Rushing back to Herod, Salome echoes the request of her mother, the head of John the Baptist. Having made a promise in front of all of his guests, Herod reluctantly grants Salome's demand. John's legacy remains forever in the title that he's bestowed with, for each time someone is baptized, his mission, sacrifice and life is recalled with the greatest reverence.